Welcome to the Material Templates tutorial for KeyShot 4. This video will demonstrate how easy it is to speed up your 3D rendering workflow by creating and applying material templates to your 3D data. In order to fully utilize material templates, it's very important that your models are set up properly in your CAD software prior to import. Let's open up our scene tree and take a look at our model structure. There are essentially two ways to go about model setup. The first is by using a consistent naming convention for your model parts. Meaning every shoelace created in CAD should be named something like strap or laces. With this method, there is no need to spend time applying materials in CAD to separate material groupings. As you can see, we have one link material applied to our entire model. To access the Material Templates dialog, go to View Material Templates. From here, click the Action drop-down to add Material Template. This is also the access point to delete, export, or import your material templates. We'll call this Nike by part name and select manual as our item entry method. The source type will be identified by part since we'll be referencing the part names that we have already set up in CAD. There are a number of standard materials on this model that will be consistent across many of Nike's shoes, like the laces, stitches, tongue tag, and insole. So let's go ahead and add these to our template. To add an item, click the plus icon. Since we only have one instance of the insole, We'll use the exact part name as the source. This way, the template will only be applied to parts with the identical name. To set the destination material, you can type in the field or simply drag and drop from your library. Since we have multiple numbered instances of the laces, We'll use an asterisk at both ends of our source name to identify all parts that contain the word laces in the name. We'll do the same for the stitches and tongue tag. Now we can apply the template to our scene to see the results. Continue adding to the template until satisfied. I'll move this model from the center of the environment, and when we import a second model that uses the same naming convention, we can use the material template we just created to automatically apply the materials. Remember, the materials we did not apply the template to are still linked, so right-click on one of them to select parts with material, and unlink to separate them out. Now we can apply a few more materials or make edits, and we're ready to render. You can see that the texture scale of our mesh is not the same on both models. And that's simply because the Lunar Glide contains map UV coordinates and the Air Max 90 doesn't. So again, model setup is very important to be aware of when using material templates. The bottom line is be consistent. 
The second method of model setup is by using consistent material application in your CAD software. This shoe was modeled in Maya where I've created and applied a library of simple shaders with the respective material names as you can see here. With this method, the part names can be completely irrelevant as long as the same shader is applied to material groups across your various models. For example, every shoe model containing flat laces should have the same flat laces shader applied. Now we can manually create a template just like before but this time referencing the material name as the source. Using this method as opposed to the first is simply a matter of workflow preference. However, the benefit of having our materials separated in groups of link shaders is the ability to utilize the automatic item entry method. To do this, simply create your new material template with the desired materials already applied to your model, and your material template will automatically populate. So if I move this model and import my Air Max 90 with the same group of shaders applied in Maya, I can use the template we just created. So all I have to do is apply a couple proprietary materials and we're ready to render. Now let's say one of my colleagues has created a material template to share with the team by exporting as a KMTP file. All I have to do is import the template and apply either to my scene or a selection and voila. In conclusion, using material templates can significantly speed up the material application process when working with various models using the same materials for industries such as footwear, automotive, and consumer electronics, making Keyshot the most efficient solution for you and your 3D rendering workflow.